Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya slivers. Looks like we got a decent hand here. I can I can dig this. All right, cool. Uh, we're up against Moroni, 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 Maroni, Maroni. I'll probably plains Ash Barons. Just get a forest. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. It'll be something to do with our turn one. Get the Ash Barons out of our hand. All right, blue. Finally, no mono black control. Sounds good to me, bro. Passing. Yeah, passing. Come on. We got our forest now. Um, all right. Well, same plan. Same plan. It's fine. We'll just, you know, clear out our uh, our library of our lands a little bit more. You know. All right, Azorius control. I'm assuming. This guy's playing really slow. We'll go grab ourselves a mountain. Just cause. I'm not going to play right now though. Let's just go ahead and gem hide. Pass. We'll be able to throw down blo probably Blossoming Sands, Sinew, and Sidewinder, and just develop the board. We'll wait to play our Hunter. Oh, the reality acid, huh? Dang, okay. Wow, we haven't seen this in a while. I'm fine with this, though, actually. We can still do a lot. So I'm going to play the mountains. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah, just tap like this. It's not really what I wanted to do, honestly. But we'll play this... And we'll pass. It's fine. I, I think I could I could have played that a little bit differently. But we're about to put a heavy clock on them. So, Reality Acid, huh? Uh, so they can bounce this. We, they get rid of our land. We'll have to sacrifice it. It's basically how the deck works. So they just do this to a bunch of our stuff. Don't know how interactive they can be with the board. I mean, I think they can... Yeah, they can put this stuff on my creatures, which I kind of should have. Yeah, so Dream Stalker, Bounce the Reality Acid, we have to sack it. And then we have to sacrifice this. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That guy's annoying. He's a good blocker, that's for sure. So now I'm regretting not <laughs> not using that a little bit wiser. We can still do some stuff here, though. Still want to get down a Lord. A Sidewinder. And we're going to attack now. A little bit of the block one thing. No big deal. We're just going to put the pressure on him. Ah, this is cool, man. Finally, like, a new deck that we haven't played in a while. Or ever. I've actually never played this deck. I've seen it played before. I've watched YouTube. I considered building it a long time ago when I first started Popper. But I'm just too much of a tribal guy to play anything else. Looks fun, though. There's another name for it. It's like Acid... Like, what? Oh, Acid Trip. Duh. It's Acid Trip. That's right. 
Yep, so they're going to do that on that guy. They might be able to get rid of him right now. Who knows? Core Skyfisher. Yep, so bounce. They return it. So on, so on. It's gone. So Pyroblast will be great in this. Just hit the Reality Acid on like the first thing they hit it on, then it doesn't go back to their hand. Doesn't mean they don't have more, but... Or just anything, or just counter the freaking Reality Acid, basically. Good thing is we can still attack into all of this. Oh, that's great. Okay. Alright, we're definitely going to do that. And Hunter? Make them... Make them chump block a little bit. Uh, I kind of just want to swing in for 12 here. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm sure they have a way to like bounce Skyfisher again. And then they replay it or so on. But I, yeah, I want to be able to really put pressure on them. Oh, a journey. Nice. All right, good to know. Whoop. All right. Fair enough. Throw a reality acid on something. Oh, another journey. Oh, that's harsh. That's actually very harsh. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. All right. So we're going to winding way. See what we can hit. Chest of Viverlant. Hmm. Well, that's just that's just lovely, isn't it? We'll just play out what we can play out. Hunter comes down. It's a bit problematic, though. Uh, I'm... I can still actually attack in here. Yeah, I can still attack in here. I'm not going to use the Provoke on anything. It's fine. They can block however they want. Well, I guess I didn't have to attack in here. They can just block everything. So that was actually pretty silly of me. I was always like thinking, I was like, I can I can attack in and they can't kill my creatures. And yes, yes, that's true. But they can still block both of them, you silly goose. Yeah, yeah, I know, guys, I know. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance that they wouldn't block, you know? Who knows? So, we're going to see Reality Acid hit something else, I'm sure. They got a lot of cards in hand. We're watching our board slowly get eaten away. Our reality broken apart. Tripping, man. We're tripping out here. On the plate edge, sure. And can they bounce it? Another Skyfisher? Alright, Skyfisher. Yep, yep, yep. So what do I need from here? I need another... I need like a lead the Stampede and just a really good hit that lets me swing in for a turn. I need like just lead the Stampede and just get like five Lords. I'll take the Winding Way. 
Let's see what we can find. I uh, wanted to tap with... Okay, well, we get a striking... And another one of these doesn't really make too much difference. Now we can attack in, for sure. I'm going to keep going, though. Um, we, we still got a giant board here, and they're not showing us any way of winning the game yet. I mean, they're not attacking in with the Sky Fishers yet. Because um, we just got, you know, scary boards. So if we're going to take our time with this deck, let's take our time, you know. They can eat away at, at everything, like one thing per turn. That's not That's not too terrible. Seagate Oracle. Okay, just more blockers. We're learning more about their deck, too. I haven't seen this in ages. It's been like two, three years since I saw someone play this. I think the professor played this back a while ago, so I'm sure it's gotten some updates since then. Potentially. Although these cards so far have been around for a while, so. Gain a life. I'm sure they're happy about that. I want to just lead the Stampede, get tons of creatures, and then just drop all of them. I need multiple Lords, though, in order to be able to attack in. Because one of them will get eaten, and then the other one will more than likely survive. Hobble. When Hobble enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted creature can attack. Can't block if it's black. Okay, I don't care. That's fine. Let's see if they are going to want to start attacking in yet. Some point. At some point, man, they got to. Today's not that day. Oof. Need a blade back here. Blade back would be nice. We got every the first strike provoked, but we're all just sitting on a bunch of one ones. Ah, oh, they're gaining more life. This sucks. comes the acid trip on my striking okay i'd be more worried about these virulence these poisonous stack ups because if we get wide enough we can really swing in for a lot of poisonous damage we'd have to go really wide though again we're kind of banking on drawing it so we we drew two winding ways all right well that's fine got plenty of other card advantage cards in our deck so just need to wait for it. I wish they'd play a little bit faster, though. Like, all you gotta do is bounce your acid. You play the acid, you bounce the acid. I don't know what you're worried about. Mole Drifter. Okay. Probably gonna start attacking in now. Eh? No? Nope. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. They got five blockers. Two, three, four, five. So we can get two in. Oh, man. It's actually like, it's actually like really close to lethal. It's really close to lethal. Oh, let me think about this. Uh, we got five creatures. We provoke them all to block our other guys. All our other creatures. Provoke, 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 provoke. Can attack. If this guy could attack, that'd be that would be it, man. All right, we're gonna go one more turn here. Um, 
We'll see what happens. I got so many cards, though. We could swing in for six, but then we lose our entire board. So if we're going to swing in for, for lethal like that, we have to make sure... We have to make sure that we can kill them in one in one swipe. Spreading seas. Okay. It's actually pretty good. I'm I don't have forest now. Yeah, uh reality acid likes to have land destruction. But with slivers, we get a scary board really fast. And they're at 14. Oh, just give me a blade back or something, man. What do we need? Sorry, our opponent's playing so slow. It's really annoying. Exile target creature you control and return to the battlefield. All right, so flashing. They're going to blink Sky Fisher, blink the Reality Acid, bring it back. I would assume they need to start targeting our, targeting our Viverlance, like right freaking now. We just need, like, one Lord to be able to attack in for one turn. And we can provoke everything and get in some damage, but. Flanking will help us out a lot. Spreading sees my red. Okay, fair enough. I mean, we still got gem hides. Look at their card draw. There, there it goes on our Viverlint. So we gotta, we gotta draw a Lord here so we can tack in. It's not what I wanted. Shoot. Can attack. Block five things. Yeah, this is bleak. They got us in a really weird lock. Really weird lock. Just pass through this turn. They can do what they want. Yep, Dream Stalker. Get it going. Goodbye, Viverlint. Thanks for the memories. Not my other Viverlint. Okay. I'm about ready to concede here. Like, we have outs, though. That's the problem. We just need a blade back, you know? Blade back comes down, then we start going off. Goodbye, Viverlin. They gotta realize they can start attacking in here, right? Blade back. There he is. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, Alright, so tap and tap. 
And now we can uh, we can start pinging them a little bit. Uh, this is definitely going to get acided though, uh, for sure. We'll ping them before it does. Put it on their own thing because they want life now. Huh, okay. Or do you have two of them? Wait, I don't actually know why they did that. Why did you do that? Is there any sacrifice it? I don't see the line here. I thought maybe it'd go back to their hand or something, but it's not gonna. Two, six, ten. Hmm. Finally attacking in. Finally. For eight. They know the clock is here. No blocks. Hit him for four, bring him to ten. What do you got? What do you got? Dream Stalker. All right, well, show me what you're planning on doing here with this Radiant Fountain. Interesting. Okay. Well, if you didn't know what Bladeback did, now you do. And we get our Lord. Uh, so, yeah, we just need to pass again. This may be our last go ahead with Blade back, potentially. Definitely are going to target it now. We're going to get hit for quite a bit again. Journey, what are you targeting? Yep, makes sense. Let me do stuff in response. Problem is, if I tap out completely here, then they just, like, kill us. What am I not going to block with? Probably you... Mm, you. I have to keep up a couple blockers, otherwise I am just going to die. Uh, yeah, let me just make sure here. Two, let's see, three, six, nine, ten, fourteen. So I have to be able to block... Like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. All right, we'll we'll do we'll do another one. I just got to be careful because I'm I'm gonna die soon. Can we afford to do one more? I have to block two things, right? Black Dream Stalker, Dream Stalker. All right, we will go ahead and do one more. Bring him to five. I still don't know what that play was with the Radiant Fountain. I'm not exactly sure. All right, we're gonna do that because we we have to block two things if they try to do a full on, full on attack. All right. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, they're going to take away that from us. 
So now we got a block. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Yep. We should go to like one life right now. <laughs> and then we just got to hope we get like another blade back or something. All right. Block. Block. Can't block anything else that's more powerful, right? That's it. Block there. Go to one. Go to one. Let's see what we get here. You gonna take away my lord before the end of the turn? That was sketchy. They they should have like they should have tried to remove him before we went to blocks. Uh, Cause then we'd just be dead. Oh my gosh! What a legendary pull! Oh, oh my goodness! What a legend! Holy cow! Twenty six minutes in, but this is why we held off because we had answers. We had the board that would just kill them. So now, with one life left, we go in and we ping him for the rest. That's why we have Blade back in the main. That's why we got three of them in the main. Whew! Oh, that's a trip, man. That lasted. That lasted about as long as a trip would last. Holy cow! Dang! Alright, Pyroblast, you're in. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Uh, that is an enchantment, right? Let's see, do they got anything else that would be good for that? Fireball seems like it'd be good, too, if we can get a big board. Hunter, I'm less worried about. Striking, we can cut. Cut a winding... I'm wondering if uh, Gleeful Sabotage, if, if that would be good. Standard Bear actually should be good. So what don't we want then? I want the Sidewinders. We could cut a Viverlance. Maybe we just cut another Winding. Eh, we still got a lot of creatures. Maybe we'll cut one Viverlance, one Gem Hide, one Sidewinder. So with Flag Bear, they're gonna have to uh, they're gonna have to target Flag Bear before anything else. Just protects, keeps them off of our creatures for a turn or something like that. Is that alright? Drop a gem high, drop a virulent, drop a sidewinder, keep our lords. Winding way, lead the stampede, fireball. Mm, maybe we want that gem hide just to guarantee we can pull off a fireball or something like that. What a legendary top deck. Holy cow, dude. Um I guess we could get rid of a plated. I guess plated. Or you know what? We could drop like an Ash Barons. We could do that. 19 lands. Yeah, we could do that. We can run that. Sure. Let's see what we can do. Oh, man. Uh... I don't know how to feel about the sand. Don't know how to feel about the sand. There's not a ton of pressure. We got our pyroblast, we got our fireball, but we don't have ways to cast them. I think we mulligan. All right, we'll keep this. We'll jump the Ash Barons. Hmm. 
Okay. This is... I don't know about these hands. I mean, the last hand was weird. It's kind of a hard keep. This hand we can at least refill. They're going to gain some life. That's, uh, that's fine, though. We don't have blue mana up yet. Chances are they'll play like... They're setting up for one of their double double lands, and so they'll bring this back to hand and then replay it on turn three to gain two more life. Which is reasonable. Okay, lead the stampede, that's good. Uh, so, yeah, let's just try to keep pressure on for as much as we can. Play out the gem hide. And, yeah, hopefully, like, if we get another one drop, that'd be nice. We can just keep developing our board. Do we just winding way right now? We'll wait on the winding way. Let's just add to the board some more. Get the poisonous going. We're both playing with a little bit of acid, if you think about it. I would like to be moving faster here, though. I feel like this is kind of like Tron in the sense that you just want to go fast. Get power, power, power. Lord into Lord into Lord. We're going to go for my land. We've got a Blossoming Sand, though, coming up. So that's good. Say okay. Uh, we're going to lead the Stampede. Nice. Okay, great. Perfect. Clicked all of those. Come on. And swing in for another poisonous. They're going to try to take our land. That's okay. We're still going to be able to play a couple things next turn. Really get a good board going. They do know we have the blade back. So they're going to be scared of that. <laughs> I would be. There's the Dream Stalker. So they got their little dinky blocker. Yep. Love to get my pyroblast for that. Just shut them down. Alright, a sinew is pretty good. So we can we can play the sinew and a muscle. Um, but if we want to keep getting in for damage, we can only play like one thing. Hold up. I want to keep adding poisonous to the board, if we can. Definitely playing a lord. And yeah, we're we're gonna swing in with these. I want to keep pressure. Because they block one and we'll, they'll still take two and take another poisonous. We're just going to have to wait on our other creatures for now. I was going to say, if they've got a journey, that might be what they do. So they journey our lord. That's fine. We have another one coming. They may try to target our land. Let's see what they're going to do here. Spreading seas on their own land. Interesting choice. I don't I don't get some of these lines that they're taking. Why spreading seize this land? You should have spreading seized your Radiant Fountain. Because then your Radiant Fountain can tap for blue. Why would you just give your... It's not going to tap for two blue. That's not how it works. I I don't know what they're doing. Another Blossoming Sand is good. Alright. So we're going to go... Same thing, I think. Man, I really want to be able to play more than two creatures a turn. More than one creature a turn, but... It's the only way we're going to keep getting in damage. And they didn't play Reality Acid last turn. 
because they chose to do the journey. And then Spreading Seas their own dang land. Why not just Spreading Seas or Blossoming Sands? I don't get it. We're up to four poisonous. So Reality Acid and then Core Skyfisher bounce probably is what's about to happen. All right. Oh, we just keep getting good stuff. All right. Good, 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 good. We are going to lord it up like crazy. I think this is going to seal their fate right now. This is going to be too much for them to deal with. 4-4 four, four creatures all swinging in for poisonous. We'll put them to 6 poisonous. I wish we had a flanking so we could kill this guy. So be it. They bounce one of our lords. They target another one, but I don't think their mana is going to be good enough to start really cranking. So they could journey bounce, take care of two, but then we're still swinging in for two poisonous again. No, we'd still be swinging in for three poisonous. No, two. Just two. Just two. Yep, so core, bounce. But they need another land in order to uh, replay this reality acid. So, let's see, do they have a land? Doesn't look like they do. They're running out of time, too. Sorry this has been such a long game. They're playing really slow and weird, but they don't have it. They don't have it anymore. Let's see what our draw would be. A standard bear, which would have been excellent, too, because they couldn't replay the reality asset. So we put that down. They have to target if they want to play reality asset. It's a lock. It's game over. We can swing in. We're good to go. So, wow. Acid trip, man. Haven't played this one. <laughs> I don't think it's been a, like, a thing in Popper in so long. It used to be really fun, but uh, nobody's been playing it. Wow. Okay, I won't keep you guys any longer. Thank you if you stayed this long. I appreciate it. You guys are true heroes. Sticking it out all the way to the end. What an interesting matchup though, right? That's cool. You don't get to see that one every day. So leave a like on the video. Leave a comment if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more nice livers next week. And we will see you guys in the next video.